what do you think more directly affects the price of the machine? You know, the, the prices for the actual components of it or the market price for Bitcoin itself? And how do you see those two things uh, or how have you seen those two things sort of affect the price of these machines? Yeah, so um, uh, we have to say uh, both have the impact. OK, so uh, what we can see is that um, so in case uh, the mining profit is 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 um, uh, not so bad. So the price of the miners uh, most likely impact by the Bitcoin price and uh, network difficulty. So basically, it is um, related with mining profit per terahash per day into 24 hours. Um, you know, it has serious impact on the price of the miners. In case uh, you know the mining profit is 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 um, you know. Um, not uh, break through the uh, hardware cost uh, of my miners. Okay, so in that case, for example, uh, if we base um, if we uh, base on the RI period um, of the hardware, for example, M31S plus, we normally take uh, 330 days or 300 days uh, as the RI period, and um, in case the mining profit go goes to 10 cents. Okay, or even less than that, then uh, you know the the the, the minor price uh, in stock may be lower than the hardware cost. So in that case, we need to consider whether we sell those hardwares in 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 profit loss or we we will just sell at um, minimum uh, you know the hardware cost. Okay, so uh, in case the mining profit is the you know at the uh, normal um, uh, uh, level okay so then and uh, the price will be based on most likely the mining profit per terahash per day the price of the miners you can see that you know uh, the price are different for the miners available immediately and then uh, you know the miners uh, you pre-order okay so normally the pre-order price is cheaper than the price uh, you know you get um, uh, in immediately okay what I can see is in past three years, when I get into uh, this industry, so the pricing of the, um, uh, the the miners, you know, the principle not changed so much. So we normally price the miners based on the RI period of the miners. However, this the sales policy now becoming more, at least from um, uh, from our side. Uh, it is becoming more visible and uh, you know more predict uh, uh, predictable uh, from our side. So, for example, for the uh, for the um, uh, contract we signed with the big players. Uh, so right now we split it into two parts. One part is uh, you know we have fixed price with them, and another part is uh, we have a floating price with uh, with with the purchaser and. Uh, uh, for the floating price, we will uh, set up the minimum price and the maximum price. Okay, so the final consolidated price will be between the minimum price and the maximum price. So we, we also have a clear formula how to uh, calculate the price, uh, which, is, uh, we, we, which should be consol uh, consolidated based on the mining profit, uh, one terahash for 24 hours. So um, now it has become uh, more visible and uh, more transparent to the purchaser.